Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for tuning in once again to my guitar blog. It is Saturday, July 2nd, 2011. And this week I had a question sent to me from Armand out in Toronto, Canada. He wrote in saying, I saw a few of your older guitar repair videos and you had said that you used woodwind bore oil on the guitar necks. However, I've re recently read that a lot of the newer bottles of bore oil are coming from China and they're adding in solvents to them. So my question is, what should I use on the unfinished wood on my guitar fingerboard? Is guitar polish okay, or should I look into something else? Well, thanks for writing in, Armand. Appreciate the uh, email. This is a pretty popular question. I notice it comes up a lot in the comments sections. And I think it's important to understand that when it comes to using something to treat the exposed wood, like you'd have on a Fender Stratocaster, most of your acoustics, uh, whether they're steel string or nylon string or your Gibsons and so on and so forth, most of the wood that you have on your face of your guitar fingerboard is exposed unless it's a maple fretboard, then it is probably varnished over shellac or clear coated in some manner. So uh, we're mostly focusing here upon the idea of unfinished guitar fretboards. And uh, I gotta say, you know, it just, uh, it, it floors me a lot of times when I look at how much misinformation that there is. There's so much misinformation out there, I bet you could sink a battleship with all the pages and pages of uh, material that are on different discussion forums and websites about this topic. Now, first of all, let's get a couple of things out of the way. First of all, Yes, I've also heard the exact same thing recently about woodwind bore oils. Now, it makes sense that they're cutting them, you know, because basically they have a longer shelf life like that. So if they're putting in some solvents, it helps it sit on the shelf longer. Now, you know, in, in, in same respect, though, it's, it's not very good for the wood. So uh, I have uh, personally stopped using it on um, all of my guitars. Um, second thing I want to talk about here is... I don't believe that you should ever use guitar polishes on exposed wood because they generally contain silicone. And silicone is really not the best thing for wood. And that even, in my opinion, goes for treated or untreated wood. Uh, my wife and I are really big into antique furniture and uh, you know it's a constant disappointment when we go to look at some pieces of furniture, uh, whether it's in the antique shops or it's at people's homes that are selling them through estate sales or whatever it may be. And you can tell that the people just completely shellacked it with pledge or something for years. It, it essentially ruins the, the wood. So um, anyway, let's get back to guitars though. Uh, guitar polishes, you know, basically are designed, uh, you know, to be used upon lacquer finishes, upon clear coats, and really just upon all kinds of plastic-like finishes, you know, not really upon uh, unfinished wood like I have here on my Fender Stratocaster. Now you'll likely read in a lot of the guitar forums online that folks out there are using products uh, such as things like tongue oil, linseed oil, mineral oil, uh, I've even heard of corn oil, lemon oil is a popular one, and even some pretty weird ones too, like fish oil. I've even heard of mayonnaise being used, uh, things like vinegar, and I, I'd have to say the weirdest one overall is this earwax. I, that just freaked me out. I thought that was just absolutely bizarre. So I do not recommend at all using any of those products. Now I know that a lot of people out there are gonna be screaming about lemon oil. You have to remember the way pure lemon oil is made, it's the outer skin of the lemon boiled and it contains a lot of acidic alkalides. So um, with the others, you know, you got varnishes uh, that are in there. They, uh, they are maybe either um, acidic like lemon oil uh, or on, on the other side of the fence of it all is the solvent based stuff. So, you know, like thinners and that that are used so that um, these products don't gum up when they're sitting on the shelf waiting for you uh, to buy them in the store. So um, the other bad part about this is many of these products uh, will actually seal up the wood over time uh, because they're creating slowly with each application a film over top of the wood. So uh, anyway, rather than go on and on and on about the stuff not to use, let's talk about what you should be using. And I have a, a, a belief now that to get the best solution here, I have to lean in favor of the direction of plant-based oils and pure oils especially. Uh, they treat the wood harmlessly. They'll never damage any of the adhesives that are used in the construction of the instrument. I'm specifically talking about acoustic guitars here. 
and they will naturally preserve the wood in a very safe manner. So my personal favorite is 100% natural almond oil. Now, uh, you want to make sure though that it is 100% natural and it contains no distillates or any kind of uh, foreign substance in there. That's why it's probably the best to go with uh, something that's in a health food store or maybe a culinary food store or something like that. But you want to make sure that it's not cut with anything and it is 100% natural almond oil. Now, uh, you, it's, it's fairly cheap. You could probably, you know, between your friends and you, you could probably buy a, a large bottle of it for about uh, 15 or 20 bucks and pour it into small containers and just uh, share it amongst all your friends. It's gonna last a long time. Uh, so, um, like I said, it's available at any of your health food stores and you just wanna make sure that it's 100% natural if you're going after the almond oil. So uh, anyway, that's about all the time that I have here today for you. But uh, thanks for watching and for sending in all the great questions. Thanks to everybody who's uh, donated. I uh, have had a, a pretty good month of June in donations and it really helps here a lot. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, wholeheartedly. I try to hit uh, some of the people uh, with an email back who sent in a donation saying thank you. But uh, I just got to say here to everyone who has sent in a donation, I really appreciate it. It's uh, fantastic to receive those, of course. Um, so anyway, until next time, have a great week. Keep jamming out on all your uh, stuff you're practicing and I will catch up with you next time. Bye for now.